Hey guys, Steve Welch here, Beam and Toyota uh, in Nashville. I am actually gonna show you something. We had an ice storm last night, all right? And I wanted to show you guys, if you look here, you can see this is, I mean, this is actually, it's a little bit of snow, a little bit of ice. You can see the, you know, what it looks like here. It's obviously, it's caked all up on the car. Uh, if you look at the headlights, this is, a, this is my Highlander, by the way. If you look at the headlights, you'll see it's all caked up, all right? So what I wanted to show you is I wanted to show you actually a few of the features that I've talked about before, but I've never actually been able to really show you the features really well. So um, I have thought of no better time than right now to be able to show you guys exactly what the features do on these cars. All right. So um, your Highlanders, your Forerunners, they've got a feature on it that actually will warm your windshield wipers, all right? And I've done a couple of videos before where I've mentioned that there's some people that'll say that it'll clear your whole windshield of ice or of snow, and it won't do that. There's a couple of elements that are right under. If you look, you can see these windshield wipers. I mean, they're, they're solid down to here. I mean, this is, I mean, you could tell this is all ice, right? So now could I scrape it off and get it off? Sure. I mean, there's there's nothing that's going to stop me from uh, being able to scrape it. But, I mean, you can kind of look here. You can see the windows are all covered in ice, right? And the mirrors covered in ice, all right? So what I've done is I've turned on, and you can actually see the mirrors are actually defrosting, all right? So I've turned on the rear window defroster, which is right here. Turned on the rear window defroster. And I also turned on the mirror defrosters by doing that, all right? So that's right there is your mirror defrosters. Then you can see, like I said, I don't have the heat turned on in the car. I did that on purpose and I wanted to show you why. But if you look right here, you can see that your defrosters are working, all right? The thing that's under the windshield wipers on the front is the same as this, all right? So, and then you also, this right here, it's actually, it's a, it, you can see this is, this is water. It's um, where I'm at right now, it is 20 degrees. So I want some uh, props. I'm out here doing this for you guys. It's 20 degrees right now, all right? This is, you can see the heated mirrors. This is water. This is still ice right here, all right? So it's not cleared it all the way off yet, but this is water. So I didn't do anything other than start the car and turn on the rear defroster. So the rear defroster is what actually turns on the mirror heater all right so and i'm going to kind of show you here so if you look so i started the car right and and when i started the car you see that um i have nothing on here right now other than your rear defroster okay so also you'll notice this is the front windshield wipers all right so that will take a little bit longer to clear but you can see i mean there's <laughs> i mean yeah we we got a little bit of ice you guys so um <laughs> and and being in tennessee we're heavily prepared for it as i'm sure you guys all know so um but i will tell you something else while i'm thinking about it the other thing you always want to do is turn on your headlights if you're not if you're not doing anything else um to uh to try to remove the ice and, and I'm going to show you, and you might even turn on your high beams, but you don't really have to, but I'm going to show you why. If you look right here where the headlights are on, you can see that it's actually melting the ice off of the headlights from this heat that's coming out from the headlights. Now, I will mention that if you have LED headlights, so if you have an LED headlight system, it's going to not melt. And the reason being is the LEDs don't put off the heat that your halogen or your xeon uh, lights will put out. So um, if you're in a cold weather climate, I always recommend that you don't do LED lights unless you're willing to at least spray off your lights. Like I said, I haven't done anything right there other than just turn on the lights. And you can see I've turned on the lights and, and you can see what it's doing, driving lights, but it actually is clearing itself for the headlights all right so definitely uh, uh wanted to mention that about the lights so now come back up here you can see like i said it's, it's gonna start working on us here but it, it hasn't done a whole lot yet so 
Um, haven't turned, tried to turn on the windshield wipers. I haven't done anything along those lines just to, to try to scrape it or, or anything like that. But, but you'll see, I mean, we're almost, this is the last little piece of ice here. We're almost clear of all the ice that's on there. By the way, this indication, if it's on your uh, outside mirrors, it means that you have your heated outside mirrors. And I don't know if there's a um, another way, like anybody that uh, on like another manufacturer that on the heated outside mirrors will have like a different, um, like a logo or a different button on the inside or something like that that you hit that would actually fire up the heated mirrors. Um, I don't know of anybody else that does the heated windshield that way. Um, I'm sure Lexus probably does, um, but I don't know offhand of anybody that does. All right, so now everybody's used to, you know, your back window, several of these lines, of course, that are going to, uh, you know, take off the, uh, the ice works pretty quick. You can see your, I mean, windshield wiper is still a little bit on there, but, um, Obviously, you're working that kind of working that way out. So, um, now, like I said, this is meant to. And here, if you look, it these just released. All right. So, I mean, I was pulling on those pretty hard before, and you saw that it wasn't uh, wasn't coming up. There, it, they just released. So, now, if you're looking, you see, look, see where this was. I mean, you can see that there's, it, I mean, this is melted down here, all right? You can see the water that's in there. You see how it's melting. Like I said, the whole reason that I try to show you guys this is that there have been salespeople and that will tell you, and, and don't get me wrong, they might not all be Toyota salespeople. They might be at, you know, an aftermarket type company that will tell you that it'll do the whole windshield. It will not do the whole windshield. But look, see this one right here? You can see there's two element lines and they run right where you see them right there. And no matter how long you leave it on, that's gonna, you know, it, it's, it's gonna do the exact same spots. But I did not have to rip these windshield wipers off, right? I did not have to do that. And if you leave them there, they're gonna help to get the windshield wipers clear of ice. It's just gonna kind of keep, keep working, working, working. Now, if you're obviously, normal people what they do is they would fire up the car they'd hit your heating and air go into auto crank your air up to high sink everything turn on your rear sink everything there turn everything up to high right put it on auto and then you're gonna um and by the way it's so cold here it's still showing as cold there by the way if you look up here see 23 and you see your possible icing conditions is uh, flashing there. Guess what? More than possible, guys. <laughs> it is definite icing conditions. So now, if I hit, and I'm like I said, I'm on a Highlander right now, but I'm going to hit this front defroster. So normally, what you do is you get in the car. Obviously, you hit your front defroster, hit it on max, right? So you get everything blowing there. Hit your rear defrost, hit your front defrost, right? So this rear defroster will do the back window and it'll do your mirrors. And then as your car is kind of getting up to speed, it's gonna start to take out the front area. Now, if I wanted to at this point, I wanna shut this door before I do this. Since I freed the wipers, I can hit the wipers here and start getting some of this off, right? Now, if I had hit, which I didn't do it simply for effect, because I wanted to show you guys the only thing that that wiper heater would get rid of, right? So I didn't do the other thing only for effect, but you can see I'm getting the snow off and all I'm leaving is the ice, right? So this should actually help, which, we, we understand that I just did the uh, thing, but I mean, you're kind of, like I said, you're looking here. I mean, there's obviously there's snow down below here, but look, see, you can see exactly where the ice still is, right? And it's still down here. It's still down here, but where 
your wipers are sitting, you're clear of ice. All right, so it's it's a really cool system that works really well. Um, in the, by the way, the other side we can look at that too. And I'll lift this up, and you can see, right? Oops. And I should be wearing gloves, just not. But you can see this whole way. Here you go. Look, right where the wiper sits. That's all clear. There's no ice there. So. You haven't ripped your wiper off. You haven't, at the one time where you really, really need your wiper, you haven't made it to where it's not operable. So that's the issue that a lot of times happens. You're gonna grab these wipers, you're gonna rip those wipers off the windshield, and then all of a sudden that, the, the squeegee part of it, that's right here, you rip that off, and then all you're doing is making it where you really can't see and it's actually better if you don't use your wipers in that situation so um but once again so now when we pop back in i'm gonna hit this here but you can see so now the defroster is doing what the defroster does which is breaking loose this so if you came in you hit this you hit this you hit that right you come in, you do all three of those. While it's running, you cleared the back window, you've cleared the front window, the back window, cleared your mirrors, and then, uh, oh, by the way, the other thing is most people don't think about like these vents right here, they're actually meant to help to blow onto your side. But if you hit these and turn them up towards your side windows, while you've got everything fired up, turn them up towards your side windows, you're gonna notice it's also gonna help you to clear the side windows. But as we hit our wipers, we keep clearing, clearing, and clearing more. That is not, and let me reiterate, that is not from the wiper heater button, all right? The wiper heater button's below that. That is from well, exactly what you think. That's from your defroster. It's not from the wiper heater button. So hopefully I've showed you guys, I wanted to demonstrate this for a while because I have had arguments with people about exactly what gets heated by that wiper heater button. It is literally only the very bottom of that windshield and the very bottom of your wipers. That is the only thing that is heated there. Um, but I will tell you that while you're driving, and this is something that I do too, if there's ice in the area, keep that button pressed. Um, the reason being is if that button's pressed and every time that your wipers come down and sit in that spot, it's gonna be above freezing in that spot. So it, it, it will it do a lot? Depends on how fast your wipers are going. But if it's cold, freezing rain in the area, even especially if you're not using your wipers a lot, but they could ice up, keep that button on. You're not gonna hurt anything by having the heat right there, all right? So obviously you can keep your defrost on, you can do what you're supposed to do on that, but keep the wiper button pressed just because, like I said, it's not gonna hurt you. But if you take a look, you see the froster still doing what the defroster does. I'm gonna shut this off. And then you'll still see underneath here you're still seeing exactly what i was telling you guys about all right but this is where your wiper heater is down here that is from your defrost all right so hopefully i've helped you guys out here and uh showed you how your defrost works uh with that wiper button on your wipers by the way something else here if you look here you see this wiper it's clean all right there's no uh, there's no ice on the bottom of the wiper here from where it was setting there so it's helped to clear that off and obviously slamming it down a couple times doesn't hurt but it's going to have helped that and you saw that it was helping to move the stuff off of the uh, the ice off of the windshield as well so hopefully i've helped you guys out here so you've watched with beam and toyota on an off day bitterly cold icy day here in nashville um so definitely let me know if I can help you guys with anything, but hopefully this helps you guys out to know exactly what to, what that does. By the way, those lights that were on, you can see too, look right there, it, it's cleared. So you actually have vision for the, for the um, headlights. So um, once again, Steve Watch, Beam Toyota in downtown Nashville. I uh, sure do hope that I helped you guys out. Definitely like, subscribe. If you guys want to buy a car, 
definitely let me know. I'd love to help you. Um, I'll be your salesperson. Come into Beeman, ask for me. Um, also, you can call Beeman. They can always get a hold of me. So, um, Steve Welch, Beeman Toyota in downtown Nashville. Like, subscribe. I appreciate everyone of you guys. Hope you guys have a great day. Hope you're warmer than I am. I am going inside. Love you guys a lot. Have a good day.